Yeah, you know, I mean, I get hard, but yeah, but like I'm literally okay. So the wound, he holds my hand. It's like, so when I'm mom, so when I'm mom, what? You mean so much to me, oh baby, I love for you. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it is your first time seeing my face, I am Mo, and welcome back to Life with Mo. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? I'm literally giving you like a few minutes just to subscribe to my channel. It's really that simple. You just press that little thing going on there, and then you really subscribe to my channel. Please get me to 830 subscribers. Thank you. And without wasting any more further time, let's get into the video. Assuming, as you guys have seen by the title of the video, that you know what I'm about to talk about. So, today's story time is about how I met a Zulu nigga. Period. I don't, why am I calling him a nigga? A Zulu man. Okay. I was starting my fitness journey, so it was just a random Wednesday. And I was going to the gym. So, you know, obviously when you go to the gym, you just wear your sportswear, you don't give a fuck how your face looks, because obviously you're going to sweat that out, so you literally don't give a fuck about anything. <laughs> so I was literally wearing my sweatpants, and I was wearing my sports, what is it, my sports bra, and I had like, um, I had braids that time. So I had braids on and I did a little bun situation going on and then I put my pods on and I was like, okay, let me go out. So obviously you guys know how how are you mean you obviously going to pass like literally maybe a mall or just a rank, something like okay, you all know how the genuinely in a place that is literally busy. So I, when I go to the gym, I literally pass this rank every day. And you guys know, we'll see. A link. <laughs> a link. I'm a tatama zulu. You know? But it's not just I'm a tatama zulu. You ain't just zulu. My daughter is in jail. But taxi drivers. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to have a boy. Like, I'm literally working. I guess I work as so I see okay I'm like I'm get I get so and then he's coming like this I see this man I I feel like I'm not even paying attention because my mind is literally going to the gym and then I'm me so long he holds my hand it's like so when I'm out so <laughs> So when a mom get hello, I don't giant. It's me a pin giant. I tell them your pin. That's bunny. You have to do this. I don't come along with mine. So obviously, I feel like every girl has a fake name. So obviously, I also have a fake name. So I tell her like, oh, my name is Garab. And then he's like, oh, okay. Mi tablet, mi was Garab. Can I please have your number? I, okay, in my head, I'm like, okay, if I give this man number to the wrong, he's gonna try to call them or he's gonna, like, just you know, he's not gonna let go of my hand because at this point, he's holding my hand, and I'm like, okay, if I don't give him my number, he's not gonna let go of my hand, and I need to go. So, okay, and I'm like, if I give him the number to wrong, what if he says I must call, like repeat the numbers? And I'm like, okay, fine, I'm gonna give him my number. And I give him my number and then yeah, Jimmy me caught it was okay. I got asked out. I kill it bad. Okay. I come back from the gym, I do my regular routines and whatever. And then after that, around twelve, I get a call from from an unknown number. And I'm like, okay, who's this person that's calling me? <laughs> and then I answer. The first thing he says is so when I'm on my own I'm going to do you want? Hi, okay. I answer. Okay, first of all, I used to think that Zulu men are the heel. So obviously, I was going to get, you know, I was going to get that thing, the goosebumps, you know, all of that. And also, I feel like I'm a person that likes people that don't speak my language, you know. Language barrier in a relationship is a must. But if it's a language barrier, relationship, you understand? 
angeke njalo siyazwana ukuthi lo munye uthi inaxa angithi mwenye ngicoca ngiphakele sana uthi ke ngitha kiritapule ngithi ama apule wani manje ithi angicoca ngiphakele ithi uthi okay mugogo ngithi ubani mugogo manje so he call me like so bona mama wengani zami and i'm like so I'll go on this like a giant. I'm thinking I'll pay a team. What time did you come back from the gym? I'm like, I tell her, I'm like, okay, I'm at eight. I was back and I was doing my regular routines. And then he's like, oh, free, nini. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm free now. And he's like, no, he's not free. Um, He's going to be free around five. And I'm like, oh, okay. He can come see me. And he asks me to tell her. And then I tell him, but obviously I don't tell him my real address i tell him just the spot near where i stay because i'm not trying to let people know where i stay next thing i know and then he's like i'm gonna come see you around five and i'm like oh okay and then at five he calls and he's like i'm coming to see you get ready and i'm like oh okay. <laughs> pull an impression or what but my first meet up with this person i wore a dress like i was literally wearing a dress i wore this longest dress that i have and and obviously it takes out my stufus it takes out the particular and i was wearing the dress and then i wore my sandals tied my hair i didn't even put on makeup i'm seeing in my head, I think it was real. Okay, what if somebody sees me here? Like, oh, I'm like, I'm gonna get sixteen C tallers of the trunk. Okay, but I didn't really give up at all. And then he came and ran speed. And then he greets me. I'm all the like, honestly speaking, Zulu men are very respectful. He greets me. And then he asks me, like, what do you want to eat? I'm like, what do I have to eat? I, okay, I tell him, I'm like, no, I'm going to get, 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 so I can't really eat, like, fast food and whatever. And he, then he's like, I come for some of the gym. I feel like that was literally the first red flag that I should have noticed. But in my head, because I'm drunk in love, love at first sight, I do not give a fuck about that. But okay, fine. And then, I tell him, I'm like, okay, can we please leave here? Because I don't want anybody from a in a 16 seater alone with you and whatever. And then we leave. I'm like, okay, fine. And then we go to McDonald's. He buys me food. And then it's literally like, come, we just conversating like throughout the whole way. He's asking me, how old are you? What are you doing? Or he's asking me like just random questions. And he's just basically pitting those things on me and just telling me that you're really gonna be with my mommy and i'm like hey, hey man you standing on business you standing on business and then okay fine we're just talking everything is just smooth sailing and then after that he takes me home it was around nine so i tell him like hey i need to go with i was like i stay with my dad and if i'm, a, I'm out this time i don't think that's a respect thing to do you know especially because i'm not a person that's always out so get a shock about her and then so he takes me home and then that's how he started day everything was just smooth sailing till the story now takes a huge plot twist because there's just i feel like the were red flags but i just didn't pay attention to them because i was really really drunk not even drunk i was really really in love and i really hoped that this whole thing works out so let me tell you the plot twist of the story so it's this one day it's probably around december now like around 26 december day so i visit him when i visit him this man likes feeding me he feeds me every time i'm with him he like literally gives me money 
but anyways like this man literally fed me like every time i was with him so it's a situation of okay now he off he's like let's go get food and i'm like where are we going and he's like let's go to the okay he takes me to the rank and I, to the rank and okay i won't mention the place but yeah he takes me to the rank when we get there I was like, what do you want? Do you want balls, pop, and input to you? It's a challenge. And he orders food for me, and then we wait for the food. And then, after we're waiting for the food, so he, when like we were literally waiting for the food, he went to go like buy Biane. And then, after that, I'm just sitting there alone, obviously. A guy comes up, you know, because obviously it's just a taxi rank, it's full of Zulu men. A guy comes up to me and he's like, Salmon and Jan, Kisar get a cafe tola. Quantum in my eater so shapa pen. And then that guy's like, So what a name comes around. And I'm like, Yo, this, this man that I am dealing with is popular. Like, he's very, very new. And I feel like that's one thing that that wasn't okay. Like, I wasn't okay with that because I'm. You know, I wasn't okay with being known by a lot of sexy drivers called oh in fast guy about in 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 I wasn't really I didn't want to be known like that, but okay, that's not the point. Okay, fine. I had a taxi driver illa. So I don't know first of all I I okay. That guy has on my I will we again, baby. Baby how I will then we take the food then we go. And then Hunter Tama so we meet up with these other I think they are his colleagues or something like that. So when we meet up with these, like, bear in mind, he was drunk. So when we meet up with these colleagues, this other man comes up to me and he's like, "Hambi ushala da banya ba fars, cause ane ushala lani moto ina mo zintezi anjal." I okay fine, kita meko ushala le ba fars ina wa. Haki dula ko haki dula haki dula, chiki chiki, baby, chiki chiki baby, wo hata ma ane. I think I don't know where he was going, but I think he was going home. And then that other man tells me he's like, no, I'm talking about you. Like, I lose a boy. In, 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 in. Okay, fine. Then he leaves me there, man. Like, I just want you to grab that. He leaves me there. Okay, after he leaves me there, I'm left with these women and whatever. And then these people that I'm left with, they now decide good to know, man. They wanna go, yeah, but. And then they're like, since we wanna go. Get in the car, we'll drop you at the corner and you walk to his house. And I'm like, oh, okay, fine, because you guys are going. And he's probably at home too, because he was going to come back. And I'm like, okay, it gets on mine. Okay, we get in the car and then we leave. And then my shepherd corner, and I walk, you walk. When I get to his house, he's not there. Shooty, Rafita Nukotiling, he was trying to go back and I went to the house. And then, okay, fine. I came, came, and our phones were off by that time, so I couldn't really communicate with him. Came, 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 heck, it's all yammer. It was around eight, no? So he came back around ten. When he comes back, eh, he's mad. Like, really mad. He's like, where were you? And I'm like, what do you mean, where was I? Because I came here looking for you, and you were gone. First of all, you left me, bro. You left me there with those people that I don't even know. And then, He's like, where were you? And I'm like, what do you mean, where was I? Because I was there with your friends. And bang, dropi. Yeah, I think that's what just really pissed him off. And I was like, they dropped me off at the corner so I can come here. And he's like, but drop it, upi. So when I give it, yo, I moto zabanta wonga bazwe. Uthabanga nam, give it, moto zabanta wonga. I'm just like, how about that? Like, what? What did I? Okay, guys, please tell me if I was wrong. Because. And my head, I'm like, what did I do wrong? Because these people were your friends. You left me with them. First of all, you were not even supposed to leave with them if you know how to afford them, not your friends or whatever. Okay, fine. And then it's like, when Kibeli Motors are on a bus, when you have a bus, in you have a bus, when you have a he's going on, like, he's really, really going off. And I'm like, eh, I'm literally scared because now, like, I'm seeing the look on his face and he's really, like, angry. And I'm like, yo, you're shy, you Hi, okay, fine. Hi, can you look at me? Get out of here. Why are you not here? I'm going to get to the house. 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 Get to the house.
Yeah, but like first of all you were not supposed to leave me there because you know Guti, if you don't want me to chill with those people or you couldn't have left me there and then he's like okay and don't tell him who's what i'm telling you when i'm going to sleep my way okay i'm going to sleep my way yeah that's all color between me and now bunny sleep and i'm going to go to me 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 to to me 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 to Yes, he said, oh, like, that's what I knew. Was, hey, I don't want to be here. And, I, and then I'm looking at him, I'm like, what the fuck did you just say? And then he's just going off. Like, he's literally swearing and going off. He's even speaking that deep Zulu that I don't even understand. And then, like, ah, dear, ah, clacka, clacka, and so the whole place, see, like, because, like, even the plates, the tweet, like, and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, in my head, but I'm like, oh, God, please do not let this be another. A, a gender-based violence case because I don't want to be a part of it. I'm literally praying and I'm praying. I'm pray but did I leave? Mm -hmm. I didn't leave. But anyways, yeah. I'm praying. Oh God, please let me get out of this place alive because I'm really scared now. And then when he's just going off, he's going off. He's throwing things off at this place. Ah, oh, okay, fine. He leaves. Now, now, get over more like get up and get up and get me. God, please, I'm not gonna do this again. I don't wanna be here. Please, let, just let me be safe to sleep tonight and leave tomorrow. I he didn't come back home that night. He didn't come. It was a Saturday. He didn't come back home. Next thing in the morning, that's Sunday. Yeah, boy. When he sleeps, silent treatment, papa. Silent treatment. Did I leave? I didn't leave. Oh, that's why I was acting like a homeless bitch. I didn't leave, bro. And then after that. Silent treatment is a Sunday. Silent treatment Monday. He starts talking to me. Now, Connor, he I don't know because he maybe he got back to his senses or whatever. He starts talking to me. I tell him, I'm like, hey, dog, me, I'm leaving. Like, I'm literally leaving. The thing, why am I leaving? I'm leaving because I saw a text message in his phone, you know, from another woman. Huh? I'm like, hey, oh, like, there's no way. And then I I got mad and then I left, but I wasn't leaving because of the gender, like because of the whole rage thing. I was leaving because I saw a message. That was wild, guys. At some point, I think Lomit will have his silly because ain't no way dog. After that, now it's uh when is it? Literally a few days after, and then he calls me. He's like he wants to see me, and then I go to him. He picks me up and we go. So when we rented me, so at our parking spot, reduce kokasia can reduce. So I tell him I'm like, hey dog, I'm not comfortable being here because somebody's gonna see me and then they're gonna tell my dad that Milan Jola and I will text you And then after that, and then he's like, that's in Mohad. And then he's like, that's in Mohad. Mina, I'm gonna cut an ala band on a phone. Like I'm gonna cut an aband back so I tell him that it's a book. Can I go? Oh, I'm not an amateur, but I reckon my reasons is I'm not sure. I mean, I've been just back to a ladder. I reckon I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm born. I mean, and I'm like, what is this man talking about? Because, darling, even if I was cheating, I wouldn't do it in front of you. I don't think you'd see it, you know. But I reckon I'm not sure. I'm born. I'm like, eh, okay, that's sure. I I don't want to leave. My stubborn ass, I don't want to leave. The minute that kid 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 I don't know what speed that was, but like he was driving off with me. And then my head up like, yes, so today I am dying. I don't know how many times I called God, but I was literally praying and praying and praying. It even got to a point where, because he drove off with me then, and he was like, I don't know why you're still in this car, because I'm trying to go to my friends, and you, I know you're still here. Why are you here? And I'm like, eh. And then after that, when he was with his friends and I was still in that car, that's when I realized, I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I here? And then I tried to call my brother. My brother's on all time. Because I was like, my brother must come pick me up. Because he said that. He was like, Nazin, since you don't want to get out of this car, I'm not going to take you back home. And then after that, 
I went to he gets I think he saw that I was on a phone call. I was literally trying to call someone. He gets in the car and then he's like, Yeah, now all check is I chill like this. Um should I oh and then he's like, Do I wanna go home with him? And I'm like, Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm like, Yeah, sure. And then after that I don't know what changed his mind, eh? but then when we got there, he's like, no, I'm taking you home. He's like, I think she's on my girlfriend or something like that. And he's like, no, I'm taking you home. When I, when I was when I'm on my phone, I was like, I'm going to go home. And then he's like, I'm going to go home. Because, first of all, when we first met, you were telling me how about you would never see me later at night because your dad, this and that. And I'm like, yeah, I am scared of my dad. And then he's like, what are you, why, then if you're scared of your dad, then why are you doing in this car at this hour? And then he's like, I'm taking you home. And then he took me home. When I got home, after 10 minutes, when I got home, he calls me. He's like, yes, this is. Don't have any years, and now I pay Lenji. I'm so full. I pay Lenji. I say, as a mother, I'm going to go home. And then he's like, he's like, when I'm talking about the problem, I'm going to go to peace. And I'm like, I'm going to go to peace. And like we're literally fighting over the phone, but, and because I think I got the confidence because I was at home, so I actually shouted at him. I could never shout at him face to face because I feel like he'd slap me. And then I'm literally on the phone, also I'm like, I'm fair, I mean, I'm fair, I mean, I'm tired of it, whatever. And then he's like, yes, he said, I mean, I know that this year's I pen. And then he's like, he's like, yes, and almost already, oh, turn down and I'm on the phone, and you know where I stay. And then he hangs up the call, he blocked me. And I'm like, eh, this man. This man, honestly speaking, that's when I knew I was like, you know what? Certain men aren't the hill, they aren't the hill that I am willing to die on. They are not. Anyways, if you liked the video, please like it. Um, please comment and also don't forget to share the link to your friends or whatever. And please get me to 130 subscribers. And if you guys like me to do more story times, please comment down below and then I'll do more story times.